Hello people, this is George uh, with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today we will, con we will continue speaking regarding pets. Uh, right now it's time to do a lizard series because what you can see here like both bears, uh, fedrakes and rocks, we have done the guide about them. And right now it's time to do a lizard series and first uh, lizard we will be speaking about is sand lizard. Sand Lizard is a pretty interesting one because it has a couple of usefulness in the game uh, and like step by step I will try to explain why and how it is good. First of all again I will say the quality matters and try to get a legendary one because it will give you 30% uh, of the attributes which you have and 30% is pretty big amount if we compare to the epic or elite or even advanced one. Regarding attributes, um, here, as you already know, there is a couple of priorities regarding attributes, and in my opinion, on Sand Lizard, it's good to have intelligence, just because main skill is giving intelligence, it's about healing factor and it's determined by intelligence, uh, second, I would uh, I would suggest to go to strengths, and after that, either agility or either spirit. But intelligence will be the main uh, attribute for this uh, lizard. For example, if you have an epic uh, lizard, sand lizard, and you have like uh, a grade on endurance, which like which means you your best stat is endurance, I would suggest you to try to reroll try to regenerate and try to get the highest uh, stats on intelligence. So what does, in general, uh, Sand Lizard do? Sand Lizard is like, for example, the way of uh, playing when you just keep getting a lot of heals. It's uh, all about sustain, it's all about getting heals, and it's all about staying on the battlefield as much as possible. Regarding skills, there is a couple of choices where you can go. But um, as many many pets, uh, there is a talent uh, skill, which Sand Lizard have, has only two skills for talent, like synergy skills. This is Tone Aura, which is giving like heals up to Fall Legion every 6 seconds. Uh, it's not bad, it's not amazing, it's pretty fine. Uh, the upgradable version of this Tone Aura is a hasty Stone Aura, which is uh, reducing the cooldowns of Stone Aura. Every 250 agility reduces the cooldown by 1 second. That's why I said agility can be a good stat on this pet. Because uh, the higher agility point you have, uh, the less cooldown you're gonna have on your stone aura, which means you're gonna be uh, healing your legion like uh, as fast as possible, de de determined by the agility and determined by intelligence. So we already have one synergy uh, with this uh, warpet. And what we can add up in order to make this warpet more usable, right? Uh, as you already understand, this pet is not for mages. Uh, this pet can be good for the infantry, but in my opinion, uh, just because uh, you are getting a lot of heals and just because marksman has a good counterattack damage, basically, if you will get your marksman legion uh, alive as much as possible, you will be dealing a lot of damage. Which means if you have a a good marksman legion and you have a stone aura with uh, uh, what it's called hasty stone aura you are getting heals you are dealing counter attack damage to your uh, enemy and of course while you are alive you are de dealing a good amount of damage by itself uh, once again there is a couple of uh, skills which will be good on uh, any physical uh, War pet or any war pet which you're gonna attach to the physical damage dealer. Maniac Knight, Knight is always a good choice, right? Like uh, it just give you gives you pure attack, physical attack, uh, which is determined by strength. Uh, and also you can like you can always go to the defense penetration again, strength. And the, here I found one spell uh, which is giving a counter attack uh, damage. Uh, to the uh, legion and I forgot the name and I will try to find this spell like even if you want to get even more uh, heals on your 
War pet, while uh, this uh, main skill is giving you heals, you can go like Divine Blessing. Uh, War pet skills healing granted, like it will be healing your legion even more. If you're gonna go to the pure uh, fighting, uh, pure feeling of uh, pure healing uh, style, right? Uh, regarding the counter attack uh, damage, like even if you will go for a Kinara, she has a counter attack spell. Uh, maybe you want to go like pure uh, physical and normal attack damage, you can go hit weakness, but uh, like only stone aura with uh, hasty stone aura and with divine blessing, I'm sure you're gonna have enough healing to finish getting more healing skills. I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best to explain, uh, it might get complicated at some point because here are a lot of skills and they're gonna add even more skills. Uh, well, regarding healing, I'm sure it's understandable. Regarding physical attack, like it's it's like every normal uh, warpet with a physical attack legion, maniac might might always good physical attack. Shield breaker always good to penetrate some shield. Maybe you want some critical damage. You can go hit weakness. Uh, and regarding like. Uh, other spells, I'm sure you already know that you can only have uh, three intelligence skills, three might skills, uh, three is maximum amount. And uh, this is a skill I was looking for, uh, the crit rate plus 0.4 when Legion deals physical normal attack damage. This can be good also, right? Uh, so now you, you kind of understand here is there is a physical counter attack damage. You can go just heals and physical attack. You can go uh, heals and counter attack damage uh, with your warpet. Uh, regarding uh, heroes where you can use uh, the sand lizard, uh, as I already spoke, like even normal uh, marksman uh, legion will be cool. But uh, if you have a snow peak rock, which is great. Uh, marksman uh, warpet and you want to attach snow peak rock to the nico and kinara because of defense breaks and i already spoke about uh, snow peak rock and why it's good for nico and kinara well you can go to the other uh, second uh, most popular uh, marksman legion Sindrion and fragar if you have and with Sindrion and fragar they are doing a lot of normal attack damage and with normal attack damage, it's uh, it's perfect for you if you will be alive on the battlefield as much as possible. Like, imagine you are getting a lot of heals, you are getting a rapid fire, you are getting keen, you are attacking with normal attacks, you are dealing counter-attack damage because you are marksman. So, mm, this is the stat which I would suggest with Syndrome and Fragar, Sand Lizard. And also, if you want to go to the more tank uh, build, and you want to be, you want to have a heals on your tank. Of course, Garwood can be good, but in my opinion, Garwood has already enough heals in this kit. You can go to Madeline and Nika, and you can have a Sand Lizard. Uh, I'm sure you already know that Madeline and Nika has like one of the highest amount count amount of counter attack damage uh, in their kits. Like uh, here, counter attack damage on the Madeline skill and. Uh, counter attack damage bonus on Nika skill. So if you have uh, Madeline and Nika alive as much as possible, you will and you are getting a lot of heals with the Sand Lizard. Uh, I'm sure you're gonna deal a lot of damage and you you will be alive more time. Uh, well, uh, healing is kind of tricky. Uh, if you are getting a lot of heals, you are having a lot of mm, uh, troops in your in your hospital. But this is the way this. Uh, pet works it's all about healing and it's all about staying alive so in my opinion best way of playing this game while staying alive is counter attack damage with uh, Madeline and Nika and Sindrion and Fragar because uh, of counter attack damage and the normal attack DPS and if you don't want to use snow peak rock of course you can use sand lizard on Nico and Kinara pair uh, we will continue finish. We will continue doing more uh, warpet uh, guides because this is a new thing in the game, and there is like some uh, misunderstandings or some some time in order to find out what's the best build or what's what people in general uh, think about warpets. We have left, I think, couple of them which are 
Uh, let me check. We have venomous lizard to do, sand lizard, and ice lizard. Also, I'm sure they're gonna add more skills and more warpits in the game. Uh, my server just hit season two, like we week and a half ago. Uh, and also there are like a couple of new events which I, I'm thinking of doing more videos regarding events It depends on you guys if you want to have more guide uh, Videos or more like live videos like whenever a new thing comes out you want me to do a new video But in my mind I should finish the warpath series and then I'm gonna continue doing like general videos regarding call of dragons Hope you like this video, hope you understood at least more before you saw my video, and uh, see you soon, bye bye!